guys welcome back to my channel today I am so excited we are going to be decorating for Halloween this is the first time I've ever really decorated for Halloween so if you haven't seen one of my previous videos I did a Halloween haul I'll link that one for you guys but today we're going to be getting it all done we've got to do a lot of cleaning because my house is a shambles so we're going to be cleaning and decorating we need to go down to the shops there's a couple of things I need to grab I want to try and find some orange candles I was googling last night trying to find them but I wasn't having much luck but Kmart does have some kind of toffee orangey colored candles so I think I'm going to grab those and swap out the ones that I currently have on my mantle you know the one that's kind of half mushed and I can't seem to find a replacement for that one sadly because I really love those ombre candles um so yeah I'm gonna try out these ones from Kmart I also want to buy some fresh flowers for the house because I just love having fresh flowers in the house I love the smell and the look of them and it just puts me in a good mood so I want to try and get some nice springy Halloweeny vibed flowers and yeah we're just gonna see where the day takes us before we head off to the shops I need to go ahead and unpack my dishwasher from last night's dishes and restack it and just do a bit of a general tidy up of the kitchen but before we go ahead and get started on the cleaning i just had a white box package get delivered i'm so excited i grabbed a couple of hoodies that i'd had my eye on for a while so i'm excited to finally have them it's still pretty cold here where i live even though it's spring it's sunny today and it looks beautiful outside but it's still pretty chilly so i'm going to be loving these hoodies so we might go ahead and open them now really quick oh my gosh i'm so excited look at that color i am loving the hot barbie pink color at the moment i think it's just so pretty and it's really on trend right now wow this jumper is massive it's a small medium right yeah small medium but it's nice and oversized which is really cool it has that really nice kind of puff embroidery onto it and the same on the back. I don't know if it's going to really pick up for you guys, but I like it because it's just really subtle. So it just says White Fox Society on the back and then the White Fox on the front. So that's that one. And then I also picked up the mushroomy kind of colored one. I really like the color of this one. It just says a white fox on the front and it's just plain on the back. So this one is just a really thin kind of fleece material, whereas this one feels like it's a little bit more fluffier in texture. But yeah, so cute. I might actually whack this one on. Oh my gosh, you guys, check out Alfie. <laughs> Living his best life. All right, I'm going with the mushroom one today. I really love it. It's a really nice oversized kind of a fit. Really, really nice and comfortable. And I'm sure you'll see the pink one in a future video. All right, let's get to cleaning. So first up, I'm going to begin with unpacking the dishwasher and putting all the clean dishes away and then reloading it with this morning's breakfast dishes. Show you time of your life I want to figure out what it takes to give you everything you desire I want to lay beneath the stars with you in 
the back of my truck I guess that this is what they call love Now I'm going to give my sink a good scrub down along with the kitchen island bench and on that I'll be using my method cleaner and if you guys have a favourite all purpose cleaner feel free to leave in the comments as I'm always on the hunt for a good kitchen cleaner. Now we're moving on over to the opposite bench and giving it a quick clean down as well. There were a few stray breadcrumbs floating around from this morning's toast. Man, those things can travel. Okay, we are all back from the shops, you guys. I got some cute things that I'm gonna haul for you. I won't do a grocery haul because I just did one recently, so I'll link that for you guys. Um, so I'll just show you a couple of pieces that I grabbed at the shops, and then we're going to begin decorating. Okay, so beginning with Kmart, I grabbed some of these bubblegum lollies. I thought they would look really good to pop in these little Halloween baskets. So, Got a big bag of those ones and then also these sherbet bombs because they are so yummy. And then I also spotted this cutest little bag. Is that not so adorable? It was only $12. It's got a longer chain. Oops. It's got a longer chain on the inside as well. So I grabbed that one. Such a bargain. I also grabbed some more of these little food modulars. These are for the kids' lunch boxes to pop their fruit in because we just seem to lose all of our small modulars I don't know where they go but we needed those these are the candles that I was telling you guys about so see how they're kind of like a coffee brownie that's the closest I could get to orange anyway um, so they should be okay and then moving on to Aldi I grabbed these really gorgeous salt dispensers so I'm gonna empty one out and make it a pepper and I want to leave them sitting on my dining table because they're so pretty. Um, they were 30% off down to $8.39. So I grabbed those. And then they also had some cute little lipsticks in there as well by the Lacura Beauty Minerals brand. Or is that just a mineral lipstick? I'm not too sure. But I got the colour Fearless and Charmer. And I think that's the only two colours that were there. They look pretty similar. But I'm excited to try those ones out. And then from just a little variety store, I grabbed this little vase because all ours are still packed away somewhere in a box in the garage. 
and I have no idea where they are. So I just grabbed this one for $12. I don't love the shape of it, but it'll just do the trick. And then I grabbed these flowers. So they're just this beautiful orange and kind of white and pinky color. And I just thought they'd be so pretty on like the dining table or on my kitchen bench or somewhere, probably the dining table. Okay. So I've gone ahead and laid out all of my decor that I'm going to put up today. I still need to like unpack everything. It's all still packaged. Um, and I kind of need to think about whereabouts I'm going to put everything. I mean, I know those two guys are going to go on my mantle and I'll probably hang this one on the mantle too and yeah I want to do something on the staircase as well so maybe these pumpkins here I'll have to see how long they are so whatever's the longest will probably need to go on the staircase so probably out of these two and these ones not too sure about them yet we'll find somewhere for them but I absolutely love this one here from spotlight I just think they're so classy and that one can go up in like winter time as well because it's not too halloweeny I mean it does say boo but whatever it can still go up and I love these little sparkly ones too they're so cute so that is everything I had to show you guys I'm gonna go ahead and jump on into decorating so beginning in the lounge room, I'm going to pick up all the toys and then vacuum through before we begin decorating. You guys know how much I love this wreath. It's so versatile and I love how I can just add bits and pieces to it to incorporate it into any season or holiday. So I really do like these new Kmart candles I grabbed. I do feel like they give off more autumnal vibes rather than Halloween, but they'll work for now and I'll definitely be reusing them next autumn. Oh my gosh, this garland did not want to cooperate at all. Plus, I forgot to grab more command strips down at the shops, so I had to do the old stick it under the candle trick until I could get down to the shops to grab some more. But in the end, we got there. It was just a little bit of a nightmare for a moment there. Okay, you guys, so I'm liking the mantle, but I'm not loving it. I just feel like it's still a little bit bare. Um, so I went down the shops. <laughs> it's so bad. I literally cannot stop buying Halloween decorations. It's, it's not okay. But anyway, I went down to the shops and I grabbed a few more pieces to add around the house and to the mantle. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those on now and I think it's just going to sort of fill in a few gaps and also the space up top. So let's get back to decorating. It was a Thursday night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. 
was a Friday night when I first kissed you. It struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. So I picked up these bats, Halloween bat gauze decoration. But I think I'm going to just skip on the cobwebs and stick some of the bats up above the mantle and just kind of fill in that space up there a little bit. I wonder if I have any blue tack anywhere. I might have to have a look otherwise. I'll have to use sticky tape and I don't want to take the paint off the wall. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so I've just undone them and the bats actually come with um, a sticky part on the back. But if you stick just that bit, the little wings just don't stay up. So I really need to do some tape on the wings as well to get them to hold up. And I'm worried that this might actually be too sticky and pull the paint off. So I'm just going to use a little bit of regular sticky tape and do it that way and hope the best. I did find some blue tack in Ella's room, which was green. So I think she's colored a green and I don't want to risk putting that on the walls because that will definitely stain them. But yeah, I'm going to pop some tape on and hang my bats. <laughs> So now we're moving on over to the TV unit and I just have a couple of pieces to add here. I didn't want to overdo it with the fireplace being so busy and have this room look too overwhelming. Moving into the dining room, I'm going to clean off the table and begin setting up the flower arrangement and lolly basket. And I'm actually excited to see a bit more colour in this space. Oops, there's a bit of a spill. <laughs> I usually keep this space quite bare, so it's always fun to dress it up a little bit for different occasions. Feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now. Okay, you guys, so I didn't realize this at the time, and I don't know how because it's written all over it. But that big bag of lollies that I just popped into the vase, into the vase, not into the vase, into the basket, is actually bubble gum. I don't know why I thought it was just like long pieces of lollies. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more lollies on top. I'm going to just leave them in there because they're all pretty and colourful. So I may as well just leave them there and then we can just give them away to anyone 
who does eat them and yeah i'll add the other ones on top and my floral arrangements looking pretty bare as well like I feel like she needs some more friends. So we're gonna add some more floral pieces and just scatter a few more bits. Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we two find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. And heading over to the staircase, I'm attempting to wrap this string pumpkin garland, but believe me, it was no easy feed, but I really do love how it all turned out. Okay, you guys, now with the staircase, you would have seen me trying to wrap these little guys here. They were a bit of a nightmare to wrap around here. But while I was out, I found this cutest Halloween tinsel. It's got these little pumpkins all through it. It's super cute. So I got two bags of that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick a few of the bats that I had left over from the fireplace onto the posts here. And I think that'll look cute just having them going up the stairs. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. For the downstairs powder room, I'm hanging this faux webbing with spiders and I literally could have been there all day playing with it and trying to perfect it. It was super sticky. I don't know if you guys have played around with it before, but it literally gets everywhere. Um, but I think it added a cute little element to this room and the kids loved it. As long as we're together, everything we'll do, you got me going on. Kaizy was begging for some decorations in his room too, so I added this shimmery pumpkin to his windowsill, plus some cute little decals to his window, and he was obsessed.
So thank you all so much for watching today's clean and decorate with me video. I hope it gave you some motivation when it comes to cleaning or even decorating your home. Feel free to drop me a comment and let me know any video suggestions you may have. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you all so very much and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Thank you.